Hi guys, Dr. Tevlin here with Aspire Chiropractic. Tonight I'm going to do a video about uh, when to use uh, ice and when to use heat. We get this question a lot in the office and um, I do find that patients are not using the, like, the right one at certain times. So this, these are our ice packs, they're awesome. They are by Core Products, like Core as an apple. Um, they're really soft on the outside. The inside, it's almost like a clay-like material when I've seen, like they've gotten a little bit broken open, I can see the inside like a gray um, clay. Uh, they stay cold for a really long time, throw them in your freezer, they're never going to get hard and crunchy. It's always going to remain soft, which is nice. Patients love them. So core products, you can buy them on online. All right. Ice is, you want to use it after, say you, say you just tweaked your back over the weekend. You were shoveling, you came in, you sat on the couch, you want to use ice. Okay. Ice is going to get that acute inflammation out. A lot of pain that we have in our bodies is from inflammation. So that's when ice is going to be handy. Okay. You can never go wrong with ice. Um, you can use it on chronic injuries too. It's not going to hurt that. However, heat, you want to use that very sparingly. Okay. Both of these modalities, you want to use them for 20 minutes at a time out, just no more than that. So 20 minutes on 20 minutes off, um, as often as you need hot packs. You could use something like that and throw that in the microwave. Otherwise, something like this you can buy on Amazon. Um, these are like 20 bucks. So super cheap. The problem with this is that they're very easy to sit on the couch and all of a sudden it's like, Oh, I just watched a whole show. That's 45 minute, 45 minute episode. And you've had it on for 45 minutes. And so it feels good. It's just going to bring in way too much inflammation. Um, same thing like with a hot tub, uh, a hot shower and a hot bath. That's totally fine. This you want to use, um, for chronic injuries. It's going to help with muscle tightness. Um, you definitely don't want to use it on an acute injury. So if you just hurt your back, always go with ice. Um, if you put heat on it, it's just going to make the swelling worse. And a good ana analogy that I like to use is say you twisted your ankle and you sprained it and it blows up and gets huge. What would you put on it? And patients always say, well, I would put ice on it, obviously. And it's like, you're right. So if you hurt your back, just because you can't see what's inside your body, there's inflammation in there, you just can't see it. Um, so ice for acute injuries and chronic, heat's also gonna be for um, chronic, just chronic only, okay? So I hope that helps and we'll talk to you soon, thanks.